Welcome to Music Theory Lesson 9. We are going to talk about key signatures right now. The idea is that at the beginning of a piece of music, you have a symbol here that tells you what key you are in, what notes will you be using. We know from the other side that the key of two flats was B flat. So that means the notes that you will be using, here's the B flat right here, you'll be using B flat, C, B, B flat, F, G, A, B flat. In other words, while you're reading music, you would come along here and you're not going to play the B natural, you're going to be playing the B flat. So that means that every single B you see will be B flat. Whether it's this note, whether it's this note down here, it'll also be a B flat. Whether you're in the bass clef as well, you have this note, that will not be a B natural, it will be a B flat. So the same thing with sharps. You have this sharp, these four different sharps. You have to know this is the key of the E major. It's four different sharps. So every time you see one of these notes, F, C, G, or D, you won't play the white key, you play the black key, you play the sharp. So there are some shortcuts with sharps and flats. So if you see four sharps in the key signature, you take the last sharp, or not just four sharps. If you see sharps in the key signature, you take the last sharp. Find it. There it is, D sharp. Go up a minor second, half step. E, oh, there you go. The key of E. See if that works over here. One sharp. It's the last sharp. F sharp, go up minor second to G. That is the key of one sharp, G. How about one with five? Last sharp is A sharp, go up one, key B. Do that for your right. Let's get some practice with the bass clef. We'll do some flats. That's the shortcut for the sharps. Now let's see the shortcut for the flats. What you want to do is take your second to last flat, in this case right there, that's the name of the key. E flat, that's pretty easy. So let's take one, the points of flats. Six flats, oh my gosh. Just take this, look at the second to last flat, that's the name. So the one that doesn't work, of course, is the one with only one flat, because there's not a second to last flat. You have to memorize that. And that one is called F. So that's how you can think of key signatures. 